Hi, I'm Jeff from Sussex Installations. Today's video is about going bigger. Look at this. Damage just getting worse and worse from these vans. So I've got something. The, the customer's been in touch with us. They sent us pictures. We've seen the measurements of the damage. And, and I guess this is something that's happening where damage to these doors on these Ford Customs and the various different vehicles is, um, is getting bigger and bigger. And we're having to go sort of bigger in response to that to give some different solutions. So we've got our external repair shield, which this is a sort of size that it covers up here. That's our one which we sell many of and we fit lots of these to vehicles. We fit them as repairs when, uh, to repair the typical damage when someone pokes a hole through the door to break into the van. And also we fit them as a, like a preventative so, so our customers can show that they've got security. Typically we fit internal shields, but it's nice sometimes to show something on the outside of the van. But what happens when the damage that we're trying to cover up goes beyond that shield? So what we've done is, this is our development door. We've taken it and we've made it an extended size shield, which will cover up a much larger area. So if we've got a situation with a vehicle like this one, where the damage is got, you know, they've gone that much bigger, that we can actually offer a repair solution and it doesn't need to go to a body shop and have a new door fitted to it. You know, we can put on a solution, we can cover it up. And we do actually have this large size shield for a full custom. And the idea is that when the damage is that much bigger, we can offer a solution, we can cover it up. First thing is to see, does this van still lock and unlock and open from the outside? Because typically, well, a lot of them that we see, they don't anymore. Lock, double lock, okay, locked, that's good. Unlock, and it does unlock. So I'll just check it from the inside, make sure that it's still functioning. Like if you were stuck in the van so you can still escape. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so look, at least good news, it's an expensive part, sometimes over like 400 quid, I think, for, for one of these. It depends on what year the van is to how expensive it is, but it seems to be between 150 and 400 pounds for that actual forward latch mechanism. So at least this vehicle still functioning. If we can put on our internal shield to give it some security against future attacks like that, we can put on our external shield to cover up the damage and to give it some more security from attack. I mean, having a hole in the van, you can't really drive around like that. It's just like an open invitation to a thief to come in and grab your tools, if you know. We'll just go from this wage line just here, because that's the same on the newer and the older vans. That damage, the cut is up to about 145, 150 mil, but there's also a bit of bending that dips down a bit. Really, the damage is like, we'd want to cover up to 130 mil from that swage. Off that same, go to the, we'll go with that metal swage line here so 130 yeah our big shield is going to cover that nicely that's that's where we want it to go and then we go an extra 10 mil over the top of that before we can really get too much done in here we're going to have to cut away all this excess dan is removing that latch out there so we've got a bit of room to get in there and work and cut and saw all this excess away and then we can get about fit an hour shield okay so here we are the legwork's been done for this we're just doing that just just doing the final fit now so we've been through the process we have cut away all that damage from the breaking all that jagged metal that was sticking out which, which would have stopped this shield from sitting flush because it was bulging out from the door we've cleaned away all of that debris taken away that jagged metal we've marked up using a gasket as a template for the holes for for drilling for these stud positions We've blown away all the um, debris, everything that was sort of sitting around the area, anything that's sitting on the bodywork, all these little shavings of metal which could later on turn into rust. We've rust protected the bare metal where we've cut and drilled the holes and where we've cut out the jagged edges. We've um, used wax oil to give rust protection to the bare metal. And now we're ready to do the final fix. Okay, so we're done. Lock, double lock, check the door handle. Unlock, and it opens. The damage has been covered up. It's not a brand new door, but it is a good, quick, effective solution. Got this vehicle back on the road, and it's off to go to work. It's also a shield there. If someone's gonna break in again, then pff, trouble is, you take these to a body shop repair, you might have another hole in the door, um, you know, just a, a few days later or a few weeks later. Typically, we would use a smaller repair shield than this, but 
this is our oversized solution. So if you've got damage to your Ford Transit Custom that's bigger than a regular size shield will fit that will cover over and you need to get your van back on the road, this is a solution. Go to our website, it's www.sussexinstallations.co.uk. I would suggest that you also get other security products fitted as well, such as at least a shield to go inside the door to give um, some some more reinforcements against attack of your van and then shields for like the barn doors etc to go at the oh, to go at the back and then of course we got our deadlocks platinum packages and lots of other stuff on the website too so if you go to our website www.sussexinstallations.co.uk put in the registration into our search bar and we'll bring up security recommendations that we would recommend for your vehicle. Or just go to the contacts page, fill out the contact us form and we'll give you advice depending on what your needs are. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a like if you can and um, yeah, uh, keep in touch with what's going on in van security with us here at Sussex Installations. Thanks for watching.